What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as Legionary Romania. Last episode, we had to cut it pretty short, but I wanted to get a follow-up episode uploaded as soon as possible for you guys. And uh, I know I have a lot of subscribers that are huge fans of the Romania series. And it's probably one of the longest series I've ever done. I think we're into the upper 40s as far as, or maybe mid 40s, I guess, at this point, as far as overall episodes. So it has been really fun. Um, continuing to work down here in Africa. And you can see, okay, I've got these Turkish divisions, for example, that are taking some heavy attrition. We're going to move across the lines like this here. And then hopefully... Yeah, they're going to actually move some divisions now to try and defend against us taking that naval base, which would be pretty sweet. Uh, we're also building up a lot of NAV-3 bombers there, the Billy Basher, at 113. Everything looking good over here at the home front, too. I can tell that uh, Blue Shirt Portugal and Italy and Germany are splitting up Africa here pretty nicely. And uh, these guys, you might as well go ahead and move forward here to try to get to the coast. It's going to have a little bit more infrastructure, I would imagine. Yeah, this has zero. You've at least got one over here. So those supply lines are going to be hurting us quite a bit. Still having resource problems, though, with the steel. Oh, we're up to 94 there. Let's check really quickly on our trade and see. Okay. Yeah, I'm still buying up everything that we possibly can here without being in the allied faction. So we've stuck access this whole entire time. Still showing low manpower as well at 56k there, but we are getting over 8k per... I guess you could say... Um, we're getting over 8k per month. Duh. 308 factories, that's quite a bit. How's my NAV3 production going here? We're producing uh, 1.29 per day. I think I'm actually going to move him up the production line and give him that extra rubber, as opposed to that close air support there who doesn't really need it. I don't really need the close air support. So I'm going to fill out the NAV3 bomber line there like that. You can see we've got thousands of extra ones. Uh, yeah, Strategic Bomber 3, 194, Close Air Support 3, 2,600, almost 27 frickin' hundred right now. Handsome killed over the English Channel, that sucks. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and grab this one here. It's gonna help with our carrier stuff. Unfulfilled import requests. Hungry now, uh, laying down on the job as far as delivering their steel to me. Only 44 out of 62. What are you guys doing? Double check the casualties here, and you can see that, holy shit, we're over almost at 3 million. Although, UK at almost 6 million. That is crazy, guys. 30. Okay, we've got another free dockyard. So, I'm actually going to use that one to save up. We may take a little bit away from the destroyer production here in a minute. But I'm going to save these because I want to start... I think, what, what was it? A... Either a carrier or light cruiser line. I think carrier, or excuse me, I think light cruiser is actually the way I want to go next. And whatever that sound was, let's see. Oh yeah, free dockyard. Duh. Okay. Uh, I'll, We do have some anti-tank need there. At only 7, so that's only 4.33 per day. So now that's been filled, so that's nice. A lot of moving parts now. A lot of troops moving around in Neo-Ottoman Empire. Which is pretty weird. Okay, we finally reached the coast down here. It's going to have you guys move. Oh, he cannot move because he doesn't have supply or infrastructure. Zero. Zero. So hopefully these guys get to where they're going. Oh, we're going to cut this guy off. Oh, he can't move either. Well, shit. Let's mount an attack then. Try to get around it. Bring this cav unit in like this as well. So that's going to get us to a positive 64 and showing it's green. And what about over here? We've got these 10 divisions that are trapped over here. British divisions. Three American divisions sitting right here. We did at least take the air base there, which is nice. So I'm going to leave them there to defend. Try to dig in a little bit. Carrier 1 is finished up. 
carrier to where are you? Right here. 130 days. And still showing the one extra dockyard there, so I'll cancel that out for the minute. Another big component to what's going on here is the battle for the English Channel, the Battle of Britain. It's looking pretty nuts. Uh, God, I'm supposed to have 1,700 in this in this area. It is a hard-fought battle, and for the first time ever, we actually have we actually have more fighters assigned to this area than the Brits do. Let's check out the stats. Okay, our fighters lost 357 compared to their 313. We have 100% efficiency going on. That means they must have a better fighter than me in the mechs. They have some sort of bonus. And, you know, it almost makes me want to double check here and see if we can do another variant for it. Uh, where are you? Okay, Jet Fighter MK2s. Right here. Create a variant. I think we may have tried this already. If I, reliability goes down. I'm maxed out on the reliability, right? So we're running at 100% efficiency. I don't think engine is, or I don't think range is what we really need. Engine, on the other hand. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't hurt me. Besides, uh, produce bump up my max speed and my max agility. How about weapons? Well, we brought weapons all the way to the top there. And I do lose a little bit of reliability at 8%. Let's actually save this. We're actually going to call this something different. Those MKs are starting to get annoying. So, we're going to call this the Billy Backdoor Bomber. No, that's going to be used for a bomber. An actual bomber, not a fighter. The Billy Backdoor Buster. Boom. Boom. Save at 285 experience there. We're going to switch our production lines over yet again. So, Billy Backdoor Buster. Fill all of these out like this. Auto save is annoying. Alright, nice. So those have been changed over to the Billy Backdoor Buster. Boom. Ace pilot promoted. Who dares wins? Free civilian factories, really. Let's build some more... I'm thinking of uh, building some more dockyards because we need to get, uh, actually add one more there. Good. We need to get those carriers and light cruisers going. Um, I don't, the other thing with that though, is we start to run into that resource crunch. I've got so many modern tanks left over, over eight and a half K, 8.8 K. That is crazy. What if I just turn down these production lines for the time being? It's going to give me a shitload of extra military factories, but resources get distributed back down my line here and actually fill out the naval needs, except for the, the destroyer line here. And uh, that's going to be good for me because I want to, I want to, you know, produce as many naval ships as we possibly can. Uh, one thing we didn't want to see, we finally we finally finished the rocket artillery research, and so if I go to edit here, can I change you out for rocket artillery? Yes. Do we have to create a separate production line for rocket artillery? No. Yes. Advanced rocket artillery too. Let's start building you. Move you up the the uh, pecking order here, though, to get you some resources. I'm gonna actually put you above. Yeah, cool. I'm going to put you above the naval stuff here. Actually, we could we could boost this up pretty significantly there. Just give it 10 factories right off the bat. It's going to mean we're going to need tungsten, though. Let's double check our resources here. Tungsten. We're doing okay. But we're buying up everything available. Of course, the rubber problem. That's been plaguing us forever. Okay. Nothing I can do. Yes, we don't have a template for the rocket artillery. Hmm. If I edit my infantry division here, they're already at a combat width of 24. Ooh. Devastating loss for all. That sucks. Lost that other... What if I switch over you to this rocket artillery here? Piercing goes down, defense goes down, but soft attack and breakthrough go up. I think that makes sense because 
yeah, we already have a normal artillery there. So we'll change that up a little bit. Very good. And then over here, these guys are out of supply. So are all of these guys. If I take these two divisions, that should be a favorable attack. And it was just because, yeah, the... Yeah, the British, uh, the British were not prepared. They were not as well supplied as my guys. All right, so now we need to move up to light cruiser. Where is it? Light cruiser two. There we are. Very good. All right, unread naval convoy results. Moving lunges still there. Tactical bomber three is done. Let's move on down to this jet tactical bomber next. How is my fleet doing out here? He's still showing his green for these three areas. And if I go here to Navy, he's up to 60 ships now. Damn, son. He has three battleships and five heavy cruisers, a ton of destroyers. Well, not a ton of destroyers, but a handful, maybe a dozen. And then a shitload of submarines. Just a ton. All right, air wings with no mission. Ouch. What in the world is going on? Hold on, I only have 42 fighters in the English Channel? Say what? We've lost 7,000, they've lost 5,500. That was epic, plus about 450 or so of supports and bombers trying to come over the channel. Holy shit, why did we lose so many? Probably because, yeah, I don't know why you guys are beating the hell out of me like that. That sucks. Well, we're going to leave this here, sitting here until our production lines can catch up. And I think part of the reason for that collapse is us going, <laughs> upgrading up to the Billy Backdoor Buster. Yeah, that has to be it. We have a total need of over 1,800. We're only making, what is that, nine per day? I think we, it's time to actually start a new fighter production line. It could be the reliability issue, too. You know? We built a lot of those, and they only have a 72 reliability rating. So, I mean, hell. You know, they're gonna they're gonna crash over the English Channel pretty, pretty, uh... Much, like, all the time. <laughs> okay, here's the fourth line. Naval bombers are at full capacity there. I'm gonna bring... I'm actually gonna remove the close air support production altogether. That gives me quite a few factories, so we'll go ahead and max that out right off the bat. Missing that tungsten, though. I hate that. He's going to be affected somewhat. Um, if I move him up, he's got to gain that efficiency, so I think that's a smart move, switching those around. So that new guy there, that's going to that's gonna up that production just that much more for us. See, this also brought him down to 2.68 per day, so not quite as many as we could be getting. I think it's also time for us to potentially do some variants on... Can I do any of this stuff? No. How about all my tanks? I've got a ton of uh, army experience built up. Create a variant here. So we'll go armor, main gun, engine... Reliability goes down 8. Very good. So that keeps it in line, right? Main gun, engine, armor, reliability. That's 220. I can barely afford that. I don't want to call that the MT MK2 either. We're going to call it the Murder Modern Tank. Save 220. Okay. The Murder Modern Tank. Sweet. All right. Let's go ahead and switch out those production lines while I'm thinking about it. So these are going to automatically upgrade within our army. It's pretty sweet. We're up to 139k now in manpower. I love it. So now as we begin to recover production here and throw them into the English Channel. Oh, wow. See, so yeah, I'd thrown 200 fighters into the Iberian Coast Sea Zone as well. Bay of Biscay has close air support in it. I wonder if that means... Is that signaling an invasion... I don't know. <coughs> Which would suck, right? Large ships on low strength. Uh, you guys need to come home. 
they're probably getting bombed. So, repair priority high, right? I think I'm just going to go ahead and order you guys to come back home. Oh. No, they're not that bad off. Still 87% and 96% and 77%. Like, okay, whatever, dude. Uh, let's see if... Yeah, it's that fleet. Is it some light, heavy cruisers that are hurting that badly? I don't think so. Call to arms from the Germans. No, thank you. Yeah, they continue to fight China over here in a pretty brutal... I mean, oh, and America... Oh, the Americans are over here as well. If we had the manpower, I would totally go over into this theater, set that shit up, and help out. But again, we're letting this manpower regenerate on its own. And it's doing pretty good. I've been sitting at like 35k in prior episodes and stuff. Uh, jet fighter, the Billy Backdoor Busters. Okay, so we're producing an extra 1.27 per of those per day, which we didn't have before. Double check our trade and make sure we're not missing out on anything. Nope. Damn. China could sell us three aluminum. How about that tungsten? That sweet, sweet tungsten. Yeah, let's go ahead and increase this. Max that to 12 there. Okay. So, tungsten still needed 25. That's all I can buy from the Chinese there. And then we're buying 34 from them. How come the Chinese are not going to let me buy more than that? That's dumb. Tungsten needed still at 25 there. Ouch. And then aluminum were certainly hurting because the nav bombers there. Uh, let's. It might be a good time to deploy them. Yeah, we've got 367 of them. So, well, shit. Go back over here. Still showing at 600. And then... I mean, still looking okay out here, though. I mean, we're fighting a couple little battles. Uh, the Wow, the air wing in the Iberian coast has totally disappeared. Yeah, that's because we're getting crushed over the English Channel, man. And I've got fighters lost of 24. Okay, so now we're at least on par with them in terms of some overall numbers that we're shooting down. It's a little bit more equal. It's not as bad spread there. They, they must have started producing another variant. Good thing we switched that over. Seriously. Okay, in Lisbon here. You are the NAV-3 bombers. I'm going to give you 300. Very good. And where should I sign you exactly? Well, I'm not going to put you over here on the African coast. It's a bunch of bombers over there. Are there any air wings that I could create over here for our guys? Not really. Overwhelming firepower is finished out. Shock and awe. Very good. These guys at least have supply and organization. Let's close this pocket up here on those marines a little bit further. You're going to move over here. Yeah, I hate how badly you have to micro some of this shit, but whatever Northern Africa still looking fan fucking tastic and then oh over here Let's see if we can capture that air base and maybe make our way down to that net that Navy base you can mount an attack here and here those should make sense we'll double up where we can this guy's coming over now okay we're gonna squeeze that enemy uh, what's that a Mexican unit yeah I think so Mexican division Nice, we've encircled people over here, as or as at least one division, I should say. Cool. Looking good, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content. And we'll catch you next time.